Hi everybody, it's Jules here with my March favorites slash haul, which is my new thing to combine uh, favorites and a haul. I guess I do a lot of shopping, which I didn't think I did, but uh, every month there's something to show you. So anyway, um, a couple new products I have been using this month include um, sea salt. This is um, a three pack from Costco. I don't know, iodized, sea salt, table salt, you can really use anything. And I use this to exfoliate my face. Now, I had been using baking soda, I just found it a little bit more um, too drying, and so I wanted to try the sea salt. My sister swears by this. And plus a lot of um, like expensive products I find, like if you go into the mall and you see the stalls, there's um, usually always like a stall that has um, products from the Dead Sea, and that's sea salt, so. I don't know, I figured why not try this. I think the origin of this is from Greece, yes. So anyway, um, what I do with this, I have my little patty thing from my Go360 Clean. This is just my routine, you can use whatever you want. But I put um, a little bit of my gentle cleanser, like Cetaphil or Spectra Gel, on that, and then I'll pour the sea salt on top. And I just like that better because it kind of sits there, and then I can use this, and I find it really rubs around a lot better. Um, I don't know, just because it runs away and it's in your hands and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I really love this. I find my skin is a lot softer and um, I don't know, I think it's just great for my skin right now. So I'm going to keep using that. And um, the next thing, I think this is the only other thing I have other than the haul. Um, it's my new hair oil. I was running low on the um, Moroccan oil, which I usually use. And then I had picked this up um, randomly at the drugstore. I think it was on a clearance table. It was like $3.99 or something. So I thought, why not? Like curly hair usually needs some kind of hair oil. So this is Le Coupe Organics Mor Moringa Oil Complex with Argan Olive and Basau Oils. Babasu. Babasu Oils. Never heard of that one. Uh, Sulfur Free Revive Oil Treatment for All Hair Types. So anyway, this is kind of just a little bottle. $3.99, I thought it wasn't bad. And um, I was like, maybe I'll reuse my pump top from the um, Moroccan oil. Well, actually, I don't mind this. It's just a little squeeze top here. And I find that it smells like uh, jelly beans for some reason. It has a pretty sweet smell, which I have to get used to. I don't mind it, and I don't smell it later in the day. But as I'm applying it, I was like, whoa. And I asked my husband, I was like, don't I smell like a jelly bean? And he was like, not really. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But um, I like it. One thing I have noticed is that if I don't do the ends first, and I just kind of like, sometimes I have the habit of just like, oh, I'll start doing my hair. Um, it does leave kind of like a greasy spot from the oil, which I didn't find ever happen with Moroccan oil, or maybe I was just better at starting with the ends and then working my way up. But anyway, if you have this, the Le Coupe Organics brand, just beware. But I like that, so that's good. So um, going into my haul, Canada got Target. So that's a really big deal around here. Um, the first few stores opened last week, and then the rest are opening in like spring, summer, uh, and I think some in the fall too. So yeah, the, the store closest to my house right now isn't open yet, but I ended up in an area where there was one, so I popped in, and I spent more than I should have, and it was all on cosmetics. Because it's like, I don't know, it's it's exciting, and you know, we had Sonny Kashuk for once, and what did I buy? Okay, so speaking of Sonny Kashuk, I did get this brush, sorry it's dirty, it's the um, small duo fiber, small duo fiber multi-purpose brush. Um, with this cool white handle and I like it. I don't know. I didn't really need any brushes But of all the brushes she had or that were on sale also They're starting they're still stocking a lot of the shelves So it's not full stock as hopefully there will be in a few months. So anyway, I only have a large dual fiber brush So I got the little small guy that I like this guy for bronzer So I thought this guy would be good for blush and I like it. It's great. So picked up that um, I got this physician's formula green concealer I don't know, I just thought that maybe it would be nice to incorporate into my routine when I have, you know, really red blemish, but I don't know, I've actually purchased this before a really long time ago, and I didn't know why I thought I should buy it again, but I don't know, it's decent, like, I think it's not an everyday thing, but when I feel like I need it, um, I'll put this on first, because as you know, green cancels at red, and then usually I'll um, put some bare minerals on top with this brush, so it's pretty good, it's not bad. So I'm a big uh, fan of Cetaphil. I've used their moisturizer and cleanser for years. The moisturizer is a little too heavy for um, under makeup, which I don't like as much, so I usually kind of use it as a around the house or a nighttime kind of lotion. But I realized they expanded their line, which I'm really excited about, and they have an oil control moisturizer that I was really, really excited to try. So they, ha they say it has a matte finish. Um, you know, it's mattifying and it'll help the midday shine. And it's also SPF 30, which is good, and it'll be great for summer. So I like it. I mean, I don't think it's the best mat mattifying 
lotion I've ever used. I actually still really like this Garnier one. Um, but this one does have sunscreen. So that's a really good option. You know, it's coming into spring and summer and I do want to start um, being better about applying that more. So I think it's still good and I'm glad I got that. So there we go. Um, next, I got uh, a NYX. This is the uh, Extreme Lip Cream. And NYX is pretty hard to find in Canada, so there's a huge display there and I got really, really excited. And I was gonna um, get another Mega Shine. I have this one in natural that I ordered online. But I saw this and I kind of like the color better. As I said, like their colors weren't, it wasn't fully stocked and they didn't have that many colors. Um, and I do really like the Mega Shine, but I decided with the lip cream. And I'm wearing it right now with something on top and I don't know, I don't love it, I don't hate it. I should have probably checked some reviews. I'm not really good at checking reviews on things. Um, I don't know, maybe other people like it. But so it says it's not a lipstick or it's a gloss. It's nothing you've ever experienced before. It's a liquid lipstick that goes on extreme color and intense shine. So I think all those claims are true. For me, I just don't really like it. Like, it, I don't know, it seemed to sit in the creases of my lips. It wasn't really good with my dry lips. It left, it was kind of chalky it felt like. Like, I don't know, the way the color applied. I, I think in the future I'd rather just have a lipstick and a lip gloss and use them both together. And I like the idea of having the two-in-one, but I don't know. Or maybe it's just the color that's not great on my skin tone. It's the um, number 11 nude peach fuzz. I don't know. I like I don't that's all I have to say about it for now. I think I'll probably change my mind later, but for right now I don't love it. So and then the one last thing I got from Target, it's the Physicians Formula Eye Definer Felt Tip. I also didn't uh, look up reviews on this, but I had the Revlon Color Stay um, Felt Tip Liner, which I liked, and this is just really, really similar. I'm trying to go back to the Physicians Formula brand because I really like it. I find their ingredients don't break me out as much, and I just cooperate more with my skin, so I'm going to just try to stick to them for a while, and uh, yeah, decided to get that, so... That's been good. I haven't used it a whole time. I think I just used it once and it worked fine and it stayed on and blah, blah, blah. So that was good. Um, so that is it for the, the haul, just a bunch of makeup. So then I went to Forever 21. Um, I did have an event on the weekend, so I had to get a couple things to look nice, I felt. <laughs> so the first thing I was getting and the main thing I was there for were to get some colored flats. Um, I was wearing a black one piece jumpsuit. Hard to explain. Maybe I'll try to add a picture here quickly. But I wanted to wear heels with it, but I really busted my toe. I stubbed it really bad and the nail cracked and blah, blah, blah. So gross, I know. Okay, guess I'm accident prone. We're not going to go into that. But anyway, I got these flats, which I thought were super cute, really spruced out my outfit, outfit and I um, didn't feel as bad about not wearing heels because I really did want to wear heels. But I really love them. They were, I think, $30, Forever 21. Obviously, bright peach coral color with the um, little eyelet cutout, which is, was so cute. So... I also got these earrings to match it and I know you don't usually match your shoes and accessories but this actually looked really cute because the rest of me was all black so um, so I really like these these are like an ombre peach to orange um, earring and it's funny I actually have a different triangle tiered earring red random but so I really like those and then I also picked up this headband which I thought was so cute this is just totally me um, yeah I don't know it looks great with your hair up or your hair down and I just thought it was super cute. And for some reason it was like $5 and I'm not really sure why their hair bands are $5, but obviously it was worth it to me because I bought it. I, sorry, I think the earrings were five well, as well. Six, 580 I think. And then I picked up these little bows. Thought they were so cute. I like to put my um, bangs up usually when my hair is down. I'll put it like a little clip here. So I thought instead of a clip, I'll use a little bow, which I thought was great. And then I thought these plain colors would match a lot of things. They have so many cute bows. My sister-in-law picked up some lacy ones and um, ones with little pearl detailing and flowers and so, so sweet. So anyway, I started with these ones and they're only $1.80. So, you know, you couldn't really go wrong. So that was the main thing. And then, well, that was the, what I intended to go for was the shoes and then I did want to check out the accessories and then I also got a dress because, well, it's Forever 21, you can't not get a dress when you're there. So anyway, I'm going to wear it for Easter so it'll get good use. And it's this yellow polka dot natural waist pleated dress. The back has a zipper and then um, this open back and button detailing here and it was $36. I really, really love this. If you know anything about me, then you know I love this style of dresses, and I actually really love yellow too, so 
and polka dots. So this was just me, 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 and I had to have it, so here we go. Oops. I hope you're all having a really great spring. It's officially started. It's nicer outside. It's lighter outside. It's amazing. Wow, it's already like, it's quarter to five and look how nice it is, so. So that's everything for my March favorites and my haul. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time. Take care.